Hello, in this video, I want to quickly show how we can use the lab three tools. This is a quick video, and if you want more detail, we have more videos on this as well. So now let's get started with a quick view of this. First, if you want to make a tree, we're going to create a trunk. We're going to use the trunk generator. And in here, we can, for example, play around with this. We can maybe make it a bit smaller. We can set the radius and so on. What is always a good idea is to always also include a controller. This will control the main tree, and if we quickly want variation or change settings, we can go back to the controller. So you can see that it will add some noise, and if we don't want that, we can go to the trunk and override the noise with custom values. And you can see that it goes back to its normal shape here. So now let's start with the next part, and it is adding some branches. So you can just type in branch generator. We can fill in our inputs. And now we have some branches. So here it's set to scatter mode, and this will be the amount of branches we see. So if you want more, like 10, we can just fill in 10, and we can play around with that. Now scroll down here, and we see options to the rotation for this. So if I lower this, it will go open. And we also are using a ramp to control the angle. So if I disable this, we can see that the branches nicely go more in an upwards direction. So maybe I want to switch here the beginning to go a bit upwards. I can still play around here with some of the values and give some randomness in there. You can also go here further to size, so we can make them longer or smaller. So maybe we make it a bit smaller. And we can also add random sizes here as well. Then here, this ramp can be useful for controlling where the branches are placed. So if I push this up, the branches will also push up. So maybe we can push this a bit up. And now we have some very basic branches. So now we can also add some gravity on there. So I'm going to go to the controllers. We're going to go here to tropism. So we have some bending here, so we can bend branches. But we also have here the gravity. So we can, for example, increase this. So we can play around and bend these branches. So maybe I have some gravity, and I can, for example, combine this with a bend node. So maybe we have a bit of both of them. Now let's copy the branch node here. Put in the inputs here again. And we basically are again are will be repeating what we did previously. So we'll create more branches. So we're gonna go to some of the settings again. Maybe I don't need that many, so maybe I only need eight here. Then we can play around here with the angle, but I think it's fine. And maybe I want them smaller because they're quite large, I think. This is fine. And we can just repeat this process and copy the branch node again. So we can and put it here and then we can have another branch level and the main thing that i want to do here is again make them a bit smaller like this so now they are smaller so from there on the smallest branches i want to add some leaves so we're going to type in leaf and we're going to use our base leaf generator this will require again our mesh and the curve input and by default it will create these plain cards you can see that these are, these are quite simple and give you already some idea of what this is. Now, if you want some more leaves on there, we can also use our leaf generator. This will generate a single leaf. You can place that in here. And now we have placed these single leaves. Now, in the leaf generator, we can still play around with settings like scaling, rotation, and so on. We can also instance them. So this helps a bit with the performance. And here, further down here, we have then the scaling. So I can make them larger if I want to. And then here we have an option for all the orientations and the rotations, so roll, jaw. Now what you can do as well is you can also use, for example, a card with a texture of a branch. So as you see here, I have a simple card with a texture of a branch here. I'm gonna use this as my input now. And this is then my result. So now I'm using that card with the texture of that leaf there. So we are done. We made a basic tree. So we can always go back up to the top controller and we can play around with the settings so we can have bending and gravity with the randomizer. So if I change this, we now have variations. So again, this was just a quick view on how these tools can be used. If you need some more detail on them, we have more videos about them. I can recommend you checking them out and thank you for watching.